welcome students in this lecture we are going to see a simple way to draw direct form to realization structure of iir filters let us consider this problem realize the second order system y of n is equal to 0.5 y of n minus 1 minus 0.25 y of n minus 2 plus x of n plus 0.4 x of n minus 1. Whenever we go for direct form two realization structure, we require the transfer function h of z. So let us solve this problem now. Given value is. y of n is equal to 0.5 y of n minus 1 minus 0.25 y of n minus 2 plus x of n plus 0.4 x of n minus 1 as a first step what we are supposed to do is you have to take is a transform on both sides in order to find the transfer function let us take is a transform on both sides of this given equation for y of n if we take is a transform it will be y of z which is equal to 0.5 by applying time shifting property of is a transform this is z power minus 1 y of z minus 0.25 z power minus 2 y of z plus x of z plus 0.4 z power minus 1 x of z now in the next step we have to group the y of z term separately and x of z term separately so let us bring these three terms to the other side that is here you have a y of z term bring it to the other side it becomes minus 0.5 is that inverse y of z and again here you have a y of z term if i take this to the other side it will be 0.25 z power minus 2 y of z now this is equal to x of z plus 0.4 z power minus 1 x of z taking y of z as common it will be 1 minus 0.5 z power minus 1 plus 0.25 z power minus 2 the other side if you take x of z as common it will be 1 plus 0.4 z power minus 1 now we know that h of z is equal to y of z divided by x of z so it becomes this y x of z should come here and this term will we have to bring it to the other side so it will be 1 plus 0.4 z power minus 1 divided by 1 minus 0.5 z power minus 1 plus 0.25 z power minus 2 now this is the required transfer function of this second order difference equation with the help of this transfer function directly we are going to draw the direct form two structure okay how to draw it let us look into the procedure to draw the structure of this now if you look into this equation that is transfer function the maximum delay in this transfer function is 2 we have maximum delay of 2 so what we can do is while drawing the structure let us mark the input and the output here this is x of z and this is going to be our y of z and for direct form two realization structures we have to draw the delay elements at the center so from this point from the center of this line i am going to draw the delay elements the maximum delay that is required to get this transfer function is 2 so how many delay elements are required is we need two delay elements so we are representing two delay elements at the 
center. Since this is unit delay, both should be represented as z power minus 1. Now having done this, then we have to look into the transfer function equation. Now if you look into this transfer function equation, all these numerator terms can be represented in the y of z. Because y of z is in the numerator and x of z is in the denominator. Just remember it like this. All these y term that is numerator terms, numerator coefficients can be represented on the y of z which is nothing but the output. So this is the output. We can represent the numerator terms in the output side. Similarly, denominator terms since we have x of z in the denominator, we can represent all the coefficients of z in the denominator in the input side. This is the input side and this is the output side. This is x of z and this is y of z. Just remember, just for remembrance, I am saying that all the coefficients of the denominator can be represented in the input side that is x of z side and all the coefficients in the numerator can be represented in the output side. Okay. Only difference is while representing the coefficients of this denominator, we have to change the sign of this coefficients. See here, the first element is 1. And this 1 can be represented very well here. 1. Directly it goes. You don't have any x of z, z terms. Next is minus 0.5 z power minus 1. Where is z power minus 1? The output of this is z power minus 1. Since this is in the denominator, we have to represent it in the input side with a change in sign. So, since this is minus 0.5, I can write it as plus 0.5. <coughs> and then you attach this to the input x of z. Indicate an adder here. You have to indicate an adder. And the sign of all the arrowheads are very important while drawing the realization structures. So, we have drawn this minus 0.5 z power minus 1 and we have represented it in the input side. You have one more coefficient here which is 0.25 z power minus 2. Now, which is z power minus 2? This is z power minus 1 and the output of this is nothing but z power minus 2. Now, with this z power minus 2, you multiply 0.25 but here as it is as it has to be represented in the input side, we have to go for a change in sign. Only for all the coefficients that we represent in the input side, we go for a change in sign. Now, since this is plus 2.25, I can very well represent it as minus 0.25 and then it has to be added to the previous term. This term has to be added to the previous term. This term has to be added to the previous term. Now, we have drawn the structure. We have completed drawing the structure of structure for the input side. Let us look into the numerator terms. These numerator terms has to be represented on the output side. The reason is it is in the numerator which is associated with y of z. That is the output. There are only two terms here. The first term is 1. Directly it goes to the output. The second term is 0.4 z power minus 1 z power minus 1 is the first output of first delay element. So, from here it should be and if you look the numerator coefficients sign need not be changed directly as such. Since this is plus 0.4, I am putting it as plus 0.4. Without any change in sign, you can represent all the numerator terms to complete the structure of direct form 2 of IAR filters. We have to include because this 0.4 is an inverse. This is 0.4 is an inverse. This has to be added with 1. So, I am including an adder here and the arrow head is represented like this. So, this way you can draw the direct form 2 realization structure in a very simple way directly from the available transfer function. Only for the input terms we have to go for a change in the sign of the coefficients and output terms can be represented as such. And this direct form 2 structure's main advantage is it reduces the number of delay elements compared to that of our direct form 1 structure. Thank you.